<laughs> Thanks for tuning in again, guys. <laughs> Look at this one. It's been two months since we've been out here and um, long overdue for a fish, so we've come out to the reef and yes, we got into a few good few, few good fish today and I've filled the box up. But we're gonna head home now. We've got about a two-hour run home. Uh, I end up getting a my PB parrotfish today, which what they go six ten. So that was pretty cool, biggest I've ever seen or caught. Let us know in the comments or on our social media um, if you've seen bigger or caught bigger. Send us a photo. But yeah, we'll roll on some of that footage now, and uh, while we're heading in, we'll work out what we can cook up for a feed tonight. Thanks, thanks for sticking around. Yeah. <laughs> it's going around in circles. Fuck it. Don't like it. Bastard. You hit hard though, eh? <laughs> oh! You've lost him, have you? What is he? A little shark. Oh, cool. Oh, awesome. Oh, he's got Got a bit of weight to it. Don't know. He's heavy. No, oh, it's heavy as. heavy oh, pelagic is it oh a shark just smashed it
Pretty, eh? Awesome. Good fish. That just smashed it. Ugh. God, I did hard. Size the parrot. That's the biggest parrot I've ever caught. That's huge. <laughs> oh my god. Is there a limit on the size? What bait did you use for that? Awesome. That's massive. Jeezy, it's know. a shame to take it from the ocean, isn't it? Get to my belly. Oh, I'm getting bites. I've got to measure this. That's cool. What's that? 6'10? 6'15? Jeez, that's a big tusky. Yeah, I'm jealous. Hustle. Now for the gimbal. Good fish? against the bloody current, no. Hey. Good size one. He's pretty quiet.
<laughs> That's a good trail, eh? That's a lazy, wouldn't it? <laughs> it looks like it's scraped up against something too. No saws. I don't know whether you can tell, but these guys have been pestering us all day. Big shark gun out there, another one there. Uh, two, he's just circling. So every time we move, they keep following and off. Melted like 10 miles away. Uh, bit of a problem at the moment, those things. Losing all their good fish on. Oh, nice. One more. <laughs> Pulled up there, just wanted one more drop, so that might be a dinner. Catch you soon. Have a go at this. Snaz just put on my glove, my old glove, to uh, get the fish out of the ice box. <laughs> and what's the chance of this? Last time we went fishing, I cut my hand. But have a look at this, what she's put out <laughs> on her finger. <laughs> Show us your finger. <laughs> Dirty, grotty, band aid. Come out of that glove. Yuck. <laughs> <laughs> Mm, yummy oh, band-aid. <laughs> That's great. Have you got that Don't touch my fish with that hand. <laughs> What's that baby parrot? What's that baby parrot? <laughs> <laughs> 
Ja, ich meine. Nice. Don't touch with your band-aid hand. They got the biggest parrot. <laughs> How's that? Awesome. As these fuel prices, we're paying two dollars twenty a litre here. That trip uh, costs us around eighty bucks, I think, just in fuel. So if you're in the states, I think that's over six bucks a gallon. I'm not sure. But yeah, pretty dear. So I'm going to count up that fillet. There's a little inflatable boat we bought too. I'm going to use it to get out to the islands and get on the islands and have a suss them out, particularly Musgrave. A little cheap, shitty motor, but that'll be alright. Yeah, we're going to add up all these fillets and see how many we got up. Like how many meal packs we get out of it just so I can work out the cost. I'll let you know if we find out, but um, yeah, fuel's expensive. Pretty cool though. Mainly parrot and mainly trout. So we ended up with 23 meal packs for the two of us. I cut some of those fillets into three because they're pretty big fish, some of them trout. And um, so that works out about 16 bucks a meal for two people, so that's not too bad considering the fuel prices. So there's no real need to take your whole bag limit, just take what you need while we've got that. Yeah, pretty stoked. Awesome. Hey guys, we're all cleaned up. Stick around and I'll show you a quick coral trout meal. Got some um, trout fillets. So I quickly knock those skins off. Just knock the bottom off a bunch of asparagus. Jerry the manners. So there's our three ingredients. Seasoned coral trout, cherry tomatoes, bit of asparagus. Get this made and fired up. And need some butter. Get some butter going on that pan. And this is the secret ingredient. That's it. New discovery of mine and awesome. If you love wasabi, you'll love this. That's a uh, very tasty. That thing just over a minute. And you see that starting to cook through. That is awesome. Let's go for our first turn. This is trout, asparagus, and tomatoes, and secret sauce. This is awesome. A little bit of red onion. Dig of that fresh coral trout. Look at that, perfect. Blaze tomati. Mmm, it's awesome. That sauce, you gotta try that sauce, guys. Wasabi sauce, tasty as. Enjoying it? Mm, it's really yummy, yummy. <laughs> the sabi goes up your nose. Mm. 